Shut up, Brown. Don't go bar in trouble. We're gonna have enough just finding room and board. Says he's live come sunup. Five dollars. <laughs> Five dollars says he ain't. Come on, honey. <laughs> Looks like you win, Falk. What's the matter, Sal? Ain't you gonna go help Red? <laughs> Tell me where I can uh, find a place to sleep and a livery stable with my horse. Kakiel <laughs> Bilgrim. Unakama. Look elsewhere, Pilgrim. We're full up. Well, how about some grub then? We ain't got any. Ought to be room someplace. Not here. Are you sure? I run it. Oh. ¿Qué dice? Nada. Pregúntele, ¿quién es él? He wants to know if you're a lawman or anything like that. <laughs> no, nothing like that. <laughs> oh. What's the name of this town? It's on the sign outside, Pilgrim. Well, he don't read so good. He don't hear so good either. I said there's nothing here, cowboy. He sounds real mule-headed to sound like your friend Red used to be. He is. Falk, you let him get away. <laughs> well, go ahead, Sal girl. Go take a look-see. What for? He meant nothing to me. Well, sure he don't now. Hey, cowboy. Where do you come from? Well, the same place. What do you want those pinos? Well, I'm looking 
room for bed right now. <laughs> Cowboy, there ain't no bed in this town. How you know? What's your name? Dave Blasting Gang. Dave... Dave what? Blast in game. Blast in game. <laughs> I'll be a herd of butterballs. <laughs> Blast in game. <laughs> Blast in game. Blast in game. <laughs> He's kind of tickled by your name. Who's tickled? <laughs> Falk. Falk Loper. <laughs> Falk. That's kind of funny name, man. <laughs> hey, Pilgrim. What did you say? I said Falk is a funny name. Falk. Rock-headed animal, mister. He usually does like he wants. I'll kill him. Why don't you hold off on my count? Cowboy, I'm sheriff here. Did you shoot him? Loper shot him. Fuck Loper. That's right. All right. Fuck's a bad man to get in the way of. He's karate. That's what the Mexicans call it. When a man gets so fed up, Riding and roping and herding them butterball steers. He's got to go out and shoot somebody. How come you didn't arrest Paul? What kind of a question's that? Because you need a deputy. We're carrying him. Oh. What are you doing here? It's red. I can see that. Why bring him to my room? Well, I thought since Red and you... He's just another customer with an unpaid bill. Well, we can't stand here arguing, Sal. I want a room for him, and I want it now. Or I'll close down your place tighter than a coffin. Lie down, Brown. Go on. I've never been in your room before, Sal. Neither's any other man. Not here. Well, I'll go to Bavado and get a doctor. You need some tendon. 
I got some paying customers that need tending. Well, it don't look like there's much to do for them now, except drink the liquor now and then. I guess I could do what tending there is till you get back. What's your name? Dave Blassengame. Would you do that? Well, sure, if it's all right with her. It'll be all right. I'll talk to her. My horse needs tending. I'll tend him. I don't want to tie you up any longer than I have to. Get back as soon as I can. All right. Blasting game, huh? Yep. I like that. It's a good name. Well. Stay out of my bed, cowboy. Yes, ma'am. Shot, man. You buy him a drink sometime. He'll tell you how strong he is all night long. You know him pretty well, huh? Too well. Him and me together, he said, and the world would be a rice pudding with raisins in it. Only I was supposed to bring the rice and the raisins and the pot to cook it in. He get himself shot over you? He got shot trying to prove what a big man he is. If a six-shooter or a bottle of whiskey makes a man out of any of you. He's gonna get shot again if Pop finds him here alive. That ain't good. How soon before the doc gets back, you think? It'll be mid-morning anyway. What'd you bring him here for in the first place? Well, it wasn't my idea. You fool. You stupid fool. Listen, you got some clean towels or something I can use for bandaging? What do you care whether he lives or dies? I don't. I don't care nothing about him or you or the whole stinking town. I can forget about all of you tomorrow, but tonight I want to sleep and I can't do it with him yelling his fool head off. You see what he just done to himself there? He's gonna bleed to death unless we get that slug out of him. First thing you better do is get some of that cane alcohol you use to cut your whiskey with. He ain't your business. He is tonight. Daddy. His wife. Jenny. Huh? Yeah, sure, he's got a wife. Don't they all? Jenny. Mean mouth, mean minded thing. Now plowing while he hoppy toads around me. Ain't worth the lumber to bury him. Jenny. Come on over here, tell him you're Jenny. No. Listen, maybe you got some good reasons for being down on him, but this ain't no time to show it. Come on. I 
I'm here beside you. Did it. Well, I didn't exactly do it all by myself. Yeah. That'll hold him. He's cooler. Where'd you learn this kind of work? Laredo. I didn't think you learned anything in Texas. Well, the doctor showed me how to do it once. You remembered well. Well, I ought to. He was taking the slug out of me. And light out. Yeah, she's blowing up a duster, too. When I was a little girl, I used to try to wake up at sunrise so I could make a wish. Mm. It was always the same wish. What was it? That I'd be somebody else. I even had a name for the girl I wanted to be. Lou Ann. She lived in a big townhouse and had a beautiful mother. Handsome father who never went away. I just believe my dad come riding back someday. On Palomino. Jingling silver spurs. I sure never did, though. You and me are much alike, Dave. Always on the outside looking in. I've been on drifting all my life. I only have a place of my own sometimes. Alone? No. I could be somebody else, Dave. I could leave him and all the others behind me. That is, if you'd let me. It's 
Smells good. It's the first time I've served a man coffee since my pa died. That's true. Him home. Come to bury him. It's Jenny Coons. I don't want her in my place. Well, she ain't gonna change it, none. My husband's here. I'm taking him home. Well, where's the doc? He's coming to my place. Sheriff Plummer's bringing him. Well, he shouldn't be moved. Go on. Get him out of my room and keep him out. Here, I'll do it. I did. Get off that wagon. It wasn't worth it. None of them are. You said so yourself. Maybe I was wrong. You didn't have to prove you were a man to me. I wasn't trying. Then why? Why? Well, I didn't spend all night keeping him alive so they could kill him in the morning. So long, pilgrim. So long, Sal. Four Star Production.